You know, the Kansas City Star has covered a lot of things in the last 140 some years, but we often forget that the ads can tell us a lot too. Except for here on the Retro Retail Review. 1989 doesn't seem all that long ago. And looking at the November 5th newspaper, a lot of things are pretty recognizable. And then you see this. Words fail me, but man, that's a laptop for big laps. Jenkins was having an organ sale, which seems to imply that people were still buying big old keyboards and not stocking up for transplants. Hair and the 80s are hard to separate. And I kind of hate to be hard on folks, but exotronic or not, did someone think this was a good look? And wow, if I had a monogrammed robe, I guess I might look that smug too. <laughs> Maybe. Finally, I'm struck by this trifecta of folks, all no longer with us, who showed up in one way or another on this particular day. First, Del Dunmire, the bank robber turned millionaire, philanthropist, very public figure. Skip Slizer, a salvage yard owner who literally paid the star a couple hundred dollars every week to tell you what he was thinking. And Dennis Allen, a rubber-faced funny guy who made it all the way to laugh in, then came back and did dinner theater. R.I.P. all three. It's also the end of this installment of the Retro Retail Review. We'll see you next time with more ads from the Kansas City Star.